immunotherapy, I think, is really on the forefront here of cancer treatments yes. these days. It's like a silver bullet that Herceptin is like a silver bullet for this. And there is a movie about it that I encourage people to watch. It's called Living Proof and it stars Harry Connick Jr. And it's about the it's scientist, what? Dr. Dennis Slayman, who was just persistent in his research because he knew that this would work. And I mean, he got it to work. He's He came up with Herceptin. And wow. Thank God. It is an excellent excellent movie and it really portrays the story of the lab work and what goes into that it's amazing it's nice that you call that out we should really recognize the incredible treatments and the people that come up with all of this i mean i think there are such the angels behind the shadows that don't get the call out that really need to so mm -hmm. this is interesting and great because i think immunotherapy again that's another topic that i mean i i can't stop there's so much education uh -huh. So that there, someone like you who understands and has a thirst for understanding, mm -hmm. a lot of the learn, look, locate doctors say, you know, knowledge is power and the best patient is an informed patient. So right. I, I think we should really stress that as two survivors that, I mean, I obviously took it to the extreme, but I think really being empowered about, you know, this, you know, it's, it's our life. So it is, it is. We have to take it into our hands because, mm -hmm. you know, we don't get a lot of time with these physicians either. So we really, you know, understanding what's going on and how to be in survivorship too. I think we're both sort of navigating that as well, right? Yeah. And I think too, a, a big part of um, cancer treatment should be mental health too. <laughs> That's a huge one for me. Yes. I really, I just wish somehow <laughs> healthcare could be changed that when somebody is getting told that they have cancer, that they're also told, okay, now we have a mental health professional that you can go talk oh, to. Yes. So, you know, that's a big one for me. And because of you through Learn, Look, Locate, I found Immerman Angels. And so, you know, I work with them now and I haven't oh, had any cases yet, but I signed up with them to, to help mentor? them. Because, yeah, to be a mentor. Cause I just, I think that work is so needed. And I have one. You know, I'm trying to spread the word. I tell my oncologists, my cancer doctors, all of them about it so that they know that these resources are out there because they don't they don't even know, you know, um, a lot of I, yeah. And a lot of women don't I did not want to be in a a formal group. I was I just didn't want that. And so my cancer center offered Immerman Angels and they they pair you up with someone who's almost exact was the same cancer even the same personal stuff that was going on with me it was incredible right. she has a daughter and all of that and so yes to your point that's why i push them and celebrate them and i am actually going to do a post on this the fact that you just said who thinks that when you get a breast cancer diagnosis you should also have a, a, an immediate counseling appointment and it's just not there it's just like right do, 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 do. you know it's right. our medical capacity to process this that is it's there's a void of what's going on and we need to talk about it so I'm glad you I didn't know that I'm so glad that makes me because I talk about it often and I don't think people truly understand they are complementary worldwide one-to-one -one, it's for cancer patients pre-vivers and caregivers I'm so glad to hear that but I have to run but I'm again so grateful thank you Katrina <laughs> Um, for Thank those watching, I hope you found this to be extremely informative and helpful. And we are honored to have you be part of this, Katrina. Well, thanks. I'm honored to be part of it. Thank you for asking me to, to come on board. Absolutely.